Mark Rogers TV with more college football previews, staying in the Big East with what I consider to be the best program in the conference. Yeah, Cincinnati won the conference last year, but the best program in the Big East is in Pittsburgh. Look at the recruiting, look at the foundation, look at the future. Dave Wanstatt's got it set up in Pittsburgh. 10-3 and last year, 5-2 and in the conference, and they beat North Carolina in a bowl game. Okay, coming back for 2010, three key players, three stars. Deion Lewis, the running back, 1,800 yards, 18 touchdowns, second only to the immortal Tony Dorsett in Pitt Annals. And what's most impressive about the Big East Player of the Year and Freshman of the Year is that he wore down defenses. He played like a man in the fourth quarter. He wanted the football as just a freshman. On defense, you've got Greg Romeus. He's all over the field. He had eight sacks. He was co-defensive player of the year in the conference, and he's back. And how about John Baldwin? Big athletic target on offense, leaps for the football, fights for the football, caught 57 for 1,100 yards and eight touchdowns last year. Okay, the issues for the Panthers. Who's going to throw Baldwin and those pit receivers the football? Bill Stahl, not spectacular, but dependable. He's gone. Replaced by, most likely, Tino Sinceri. What do we know about this guy? Well, not a whole lot. He only threw 17 passes in garbage time last year. Did complete about half his passes in the spring game this year. But uh, what we know is that he brings an element to the field that Stull did not. He's mobile and can throw on the run. Sanceri, a key for the Panthers, as is the offensive line, to protect him when we're looking at a replacement at center and both guard positions for the Panthers. They've got two solid players at the tackles. Pitt going to the elite of college football, or at least attempting to. They've really bulked up the non-conference slate with Utah and Miami this year, starting on September 2nd. We've got more Big East previews coming up on Mark Rogers TV.